to sin. Somebody who causes many people to sin, they have no share in the world to come. The example I want to use next is let's say you go to, you, you have a wedding. And, uh, you know, somebody came to, you know, told me, invited me to a wedding. And um, he says, don't worry about it. There's going to be a kosher table. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't understand what that means. Uh, you, you mean there's going to be a separate table? Just, he's like, no, kosher food. And I'm like, what about the other tables? And he's like, he's like, no, you know, come on. <laughs> you know, we, we, weddings, we've got to have the shrimp. We've got to have the seafood. Man. Come on, Rabbi. You can't, you can't throw a wedding like that. And I'm like, you, you, you're an idiot. You're a fool. What are you doing? You're causing, you're going. You have a non-kosher wedding. You have mixed dancing. You have, uh, um, you know, non-kosher food. You have all these sins that are happening. All thanks to you. Go to the Chatan and Kala. You come in with a lot of blessing into your marriage. People are so nervous about evil eyes, so nervous about different things. You know, they want to start the marriage right. You know, don't, don't step first over the threshold. You know, she has to step first on this and that, throw salt over here and do this. They have all this routine that they're going to do. But though, everybody's sin. Yeah, why don't you come eat, eat shrimp on me? This idiot, when he, all the fake stuff, they'll keep. But the one thing that they need to do, they, they want to, I tell them, I'm like, you want to start your marriage on a good foot? He's like, yeah, absolutely. You want to have good luck in your marriage? I say, yeah, of course. Don't make a thousand people, or whatever, five hundred people sin on the night of your wedding. That's all going to come to you. That's machtita abim. Someone who's machtita him, enlochar kolam abah. He has no share in the world to come. And this is very also important. A woman that walks around immodestly, a, a man that looks at a woman is not like a woman that looks at a woman, right? And it's very hard for just like it's you know I, I spoken to you before. My wife says, "Listen, you don't know the test of modesty." And I'm like, "You're right. I don't." Doesn't mean I'm not going to stop speaking about it, but I really don't. And I understand that I, that I don't understand. As a man, I, we can't understand the, the test that a person have uh, of modesty. But if somebody walks out in the street and they're immodest, then if somebody else goes and looks at them, a man, and then, you know, eh, so temptation starts arousing, and then one thing leads to another, and then he does whatever sin that he does afterwards. Who does he have to thank? You. You, know, you who came who were like, oh, no, it's so hot. You know, some people, the skirt is long enough, but they'll raise it just above the knees. Like, I just want to make this in, you know? It's like, you're just an inch off. Why, 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 you're so close. Just put it one inch lower. No, come on, you know, stylish. Yeah, it doesn't work well with my top, with my bottom, and all that, the shoes, I has to be this way, one, that. People, are for, they lose everything for the stupidest thing, for the dumbest thing. So that, the, you know, somebody walks in, and the people understand, if you walk in Manhattan, and you're immodest, there's a lot of people that are looking at you. There's a lot of people looking at you, and all those sins go on to you. And it's, it's, it's a waste. You don't get any enjoyment from them, you know, whatever they do afterwards. Why should I pay for their sins? I don't want to do that. It's a lose-lose situation. Machtita Abim is a very, very serious sin that I think happens very often. There are a lot of people that, there's so many WhatsApp groups and, and uh, uh, social media. Be like, oh, I just saw this great TV show. Check this out, right? And meanwhile, you have like 13 people out there that just binge watch the entire, you know, week and catch up all the seasons until before because it was really an amazing show, right? So they didn't pray, they didn't eat, they didn't do anything. You know, they didn't put on TV and they didn't put on anything. Who do they have to thank afterwards? For you, because you got two thumbs up, you got a like on your on your status, whatever it is that, that goes on in the in the social media. For what? Why are you sharing these things? And for men, if let's say they have a you know they, they, there's an immodest picture, an immodest thing, that, but it's a funny it's a funny line. Come on, it's a, there's a little caption before and under it, so they go and they send it out to their friends. Like, what are you doing? You don't gain any enjoyment by whatever they're looking at. You're, you're losing. You're causing many people to sin. 